Today, Microsoft announced Windows Insider Preview Build 22567 to the dev channel. This build includes a couple of new features and today in this video, we are going to take a look at this. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting with the first one, Windows Update will leverage more onto renewable energy. With this new Windows Update, they will try to schedule update installations at specific times of the day. When doing so, results in lower carbon emissions. As you may know, most electrical grids are powered by multiple sources, including renewables and fossil fuels. When these renewable energy sources produce surplus amount of energy, there is no way to better utilize this energy rather than just throwing out into the grid. Well, Microsoft found a good use of such energy. So whenever possible, Windows 11 will now prioritize installing the updates in the background and at times when greater amounts of clean energy sources like wind energy, solar energy and hydro are available, user can choose to install updates immediately by navigating to settings into the windows update and then choosing check for updates. But one thing to note, this feature will be only available when your PC is plugged in and the regional carbon emission data is available. Next one, they are improving Microsoft 365 subscription management in settings. So going into your Microsoft account under the settings panel and into the account, well now you can able to view your OneDrive storage and recurring billing and sharing information as a part of your Microsoft 365 subscription within Windows 11. They are introducing payment details within the subscription card experience. This will allow you to view your payment information and get notified when your payment method needs to be updated, allowing you to contribute to your subscription without any disruptions. Next one, you can link your phone out of the box to your Windows 11. Linking Android phone to your PC as a part of device setup out of the box will be available for Windows 11. Linking will give you an instant access to everything on your phone right from your PC without needing to constantly swap your attention to your phone. You can use your favorite mobile apps, send text messages, make calls and do more stuff with your PC. With the benefit of full keyboard and mouse setup, you can reset your PC to access this feature while the initial setup. Then next one is a smart app control. This is a new security feature for Windows 11 that blocks untrusted or potentially dangerous applications. Smart app control, also known as SSE, can be enabled on Windows devices that have performed a clean install with the latest preview build 22567 and higher, SSA is first configured in evaluation mode. In evaluation mode, it will learn if it can help protect you without getting in your way too much. Otherwise, it will be automatically be turned off. While in evaluation mode, user can manually turn on SSE in Windows security update under the app and browser control section. Then talking about new changes and general improvements, they have updated open with dialog box to align with Windows 11 design principles. The updated dialog box honors light and dark theme. Also, they have simplified the experience by making it possible to update your default app with just one click. One thing to note though, it might not be available for all the insider just yet. Next one about windowing, they are updating multi-finger touch gesture to include responsive and delightful animations that follows your finger. Next one, the ability for voice typing from the downloaded speech tracks is now improved and provide better speech recognition and better performance of transcription. Also, they are rolling out new commands in voice typing, commands including backspace, space, then tab, you can utilize using voice typing. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel. This is Kedar from How to Guys signing out.